Sorry, Frankie. <laughs> Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. It's Monday and on Mondays I'm usually at my skate shop because Mondays is the day that Mo is out. So because I'm here and it's not too busy, it's raining outside, I decided that it was time to make this. Basically, if you saw the last video that I did with the wizard frames, I said that I couldn't find the right boot yet. I do not have any Seba skate and I know that a lot of people like the Seba CJ skate, but I've seen the Seba CJ2 which is a plastic shell. I wanted to have this frame attached to a carbon boot. I didn't add any UFS carbon boot high enough. So I decided to make my own. So this was what I was skating first. This is the US this way, which is basically the tallest skate that I have as a UFS. Uh, let me try to get my cuff. <sighs> this skate comes with a quite tall cuff, but even like this, I didn't felt that it gave me stability enough with such a tall frame. And I used to skate this boot with the Trimax 110 and I used to love it. I don't know if it's from the frame being longer or what exactly was, but I wasn't really enjoying it. So I decided to pick my US the Frankie Morales trees, this boot and do something with it. Basically, I know that a lot of people with the Seba skates before they getting them linerless, they were doing something like this. They were basically taking all the foam from the inside of their boots and that's basically what I did. I did ask a few people before and most of the people told me that people aren't doing, isn't doing this with USDs because the skates are quite tight around so if you take the foams you wouldn't have space enough to put a liner in. So I decided to bring the slimmest liner that I have and it's one of my favorite liners of all time. The my fit second skin liner but this liner had a problem which is it didn't let lace loops on top and I wanted a skin liner, a super slim liner that would go around my foot as tight as I could. So I got the second piece, <laughs> the second cuff piece, Velcro, whatever cuff that comes with the Intuition liners because on my Intuition liners I'm using the yellow one and I know that the Intuition liners are a little bit thicker than, than these ones. So I got these liners because they're slimmer so they will fit better inside the USD Frankie Morales but I took the little butterfly that come on the back of this liner. It comes with a little tiny butterfly here and I put it the Intuition one that will come all the way to the top and give me some extra support because of the laces. Something that I actually like more on using these compared to the second version of this liner is that usually the lace loops are here really really close to the end of the liner. If I'm going to be using something like this the lace loops come more in the back which means that will wrap more around my foot. Not with this material but with the laces and I actually like that. So again like I just told you I had to take as much foam as I could. Obviously the whole process was a little bit <laughs> messy. I was just playing around with the Dremel and it kind of worked. Then I had to shave something here because this skate comes with a little metal thing sticking out. Something that it's just not allowing the female part of this screw, this metal piece, to rotate. So I shave it as much as I could, but I still wanted it to be there, like pin that wouldn't allow this to, to spin. Also, the reason why you see this all messy is because these skates come with a little piece of foam, but I wanted my frames against the carbon and not with foam, because usually foam will give you a little bit of flex, and I wanted it to be framed straight on the carbon so it would be as solid as possible. And that's what I did. And then, because the cuff that comes on these, oh god, just dirty. It is super low, and I wanted to put this one. But even when I would put this one, the holes would fit. See, this hole is right. This hole would also be right. But there would be a little bit of space in the back, and it would still be low. So what did I do? Well, I put it in the position that I wanted, which would be a little bit higher, and I made new holes. See? So now I got 
taller carbon boot with a taller cuff and I can actually do whatever I want because I'm going to change the liner so as you can see here there's new holes and that's it so I basically put it inside by the way I created enough space in these carbon shell to even use these with insoles so I'm using the ah, I'm using the superfit black superfit black inner sole I'm hoping that the whole thing will work, but it seems like it. See? Then I'm gonna need to put the cuffs, which I'm not gonna put in now. And then everyone basically nowadays that skates with big wheels have been using that 45 degree strap or a ratchet buckle. I wanted to try something different. And the other day, looking at my, my shoes, some Nike Waraches Drift, a different version of the Warache. It came with some extra pieces. And these things are supposed to go on the side and you can actually lace it something like this. Yeah something like this and then you can have the laces coming from a little bit lower and you can actually even put it like higher or lower making the laces wrap a little bit more around your foot and because it's a different color it's not going to give you a cleaner look on the skate but it could actually if you have these in the same color maybe another material would give you a different look to the skate which would be just laces on top and i actually like that a lot using something like this then because it has two holes it also stops the laces here in this position so I think this can work and it's gonna be a test that I'm gonna be doing then I still don't know exactly how I'm going to lace this because I have these laces then I have the laces that come on the way to the side let me just show you the real deal and then I have these laces and then I still got the laces on top of the liner so here I got some Mr. Lacy laces which I don't know if they are long enough I might need something longer to go through all of these and I still don't know if I'm going to use one lace only or if I'm going for the double lace system. And that's it then. I'm using the Wizard NR100 frame, some Hyper Z1 concrete wheels, which the first day that I skated this frame, I really, really love these wheels. They are 83 A's. I'm using some micro, micro twin cam. ILQ 9 Pro bearings. I think, I don't know if it's the Pro. I usually like the non-Pro version more, but I think these are the Pro version and they do pin really good. And now I need to go out and skate them. They do feel really, really comfortable. The liners are heat moldable. The boot is also heat moldable. So I, I might have a fully heat moldable skate right here. And that's it. I would love to skate them today, but it's raining outside, so I'm first gonna need to put this one together, my second pair together. Then I'm gonna play a bit with the laces and all that, see what I can do here. And that's it. Ah, I also had to drill a second hole here for this because I don't want this to spin, I want it to be fixed, okay? And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see how these things roll, well, you know what you gotta do. Subscribe to the channel, give me some thumbs up if you like this one. Thumbs down if you didn't like it, even if I was smiling. <laughs> And other than that, like I always say, just don't forget why we all started skating. And that is because it's fun. Cheers, guys. And see you soon. That's cool.